what's up everybody and welcome to apocalypse gaming today we just received news about the new cavalry commander and not any news or leaks it's official news from the rise of kingdom page let's look together at the new cavalry commander hui ku bing let's go awesome people and here we can see the released image of the commander and clearly we can see it says it's a cavalry uh versatile versatility and skill damage so it's going to be really really boom boom but anyway let's have a closer look at the skills of this new commander and when we look at the commander skill we look at the first one, General or Agile Cavalry, deals direct damage to target troops damage factor 2700. And if it's a secondary commander, uh, it will only deal 1350. Uh, and also reduce its march speed by 50%. So it's pretty cool. It deals direct damage and reduce the march speed by 50%. Seen. And then we're going to look at the second skill, which is the Fergahana Horses. Cavalry units led by this commander gain 40% increased attack while outside Alliance territories. And their cavalry units gain 15% increased march speed and deal 5% more damage to archer units. So if you not on the territory or you're outside of the territory, you deal 40% increased more damage, 15% um cavalry speed and also another extra bonus five percent uh, damage extra damage to archer units and when we look at the third uh, skill which is the dragon of the desert if this commander's troop has not been garrisoned in a building for at least 30 seconds so you have to be careful with that skill because if you jump inside the flag and jump out that skill is not going to work until 30 seconds reset so you have to be really careful with that one we read it again if this commander troops has not been garrisoned in a building for at least 30 seconds every time their troops enter combat it will gain the following buffs for the first 15 seconds of the battles and what are the buffs deals 30 percent more skill damage absolutely crazy they make cavalry so strong and active active skill cost 150 less rage to use which is pretty awesome and it says at the bottom after 15 seconds their troops will deal 10 percent more normal attack damage this is pretty boom boom the first three skills it shows us how strong this commander is going to be man i can't wait to see the next two skills let's go and here it is guys when we go look at the second picture that was released on facebook with the skills this is the false skill battlefield appropriation man why is it so hard why you don't make it easy anyway when attacking an enemy troop cavalry units led by this commander gain 30 percent increased defense whoa and their troops deal 20 percent more skill damage that's crazy whenever the troops defeat an enemy troop some of slightly wounded units will be healed healing factor 1500 this is pretty cool this is pretty cool whoa so you gain 30 percent increased defense 20 percent skill damage and you also heal 1500 for every time you're defeating uh, a march that's pretty cool let's go look at the expertise and it looks like the expertise just favors uh, the last skill which is gonna make it even stronger so we're not only gonna be gaining 30 percent but 35 percent increased damage and the troops deal 25 percent uh, skill damage which is crazy and not only we're going to be getting 1500 back when you when you defeat an enemy you're going to be getting 3000 back and it says at the bottom autumn wind resets the rage of this commander troops all temporary buffs and debuff and the amount of time it has been in combat so guys what a what a real boom boom here this new commander is absolutely crazy I don't know what we're gonna do like you have to have the equipment to invest in a in a secondary marsh but if you already have uh juan Naviski, i don't know if this is gonna replace xy or what's gonna be the plan here but guys the first look here the commanda is absolutely insane i really don't know what to say but the first look at this commander 
it tells me we're gonna see so many of him but hey i don't know how we're gonna get him uh, i saw it's gonna be available in one week so we have to keep an eye on how we're gonna get him if we're gonna be available in the wheel uh, of fortune or are we gonna get him in mighty governor a lot of unanswered questions so i'm not sure uh, we're gonna have to wait and see but guys this is it this is all we got from the facebook page i'm really excited for a new cavalry commander uh, i don't know if i'm gonna expertise him yet i have the golden heads we're gonna have to wait and see it all matters is the equipment you must have the good equipment to put your marks at on the open field but awesome people this is it i just wanted to come show you the new cavalry commander give you my idea or my opinion on him but the new the reading on the paper it looks very impressive really 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 impressive a lot of passive a lot of strong skills and the skill damage is pretty boom boom and a bit of healing there is nothing left out skill damage i think is gonna be pretty boom boom awesome people this is us i hope you enjoyed this one i'll uh, make sure uh, make sure you like and subscribe please so you don't miss any of the content or my live streams awesome people come closer boom boom baby let's go and i'll see you next time